we have just a few more minutes to go before we start the recording. Um, I just want to make sure that everyone can hear me clearly. If I can just get a hello or yes, I can hear you, that would really help me out. Aha, uh -huh, great. Thank you very much. Good. Thanks. Okay, good. So everyone can hear me. That's a good thing. That's a good start to the webinar. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll just uh, wait another minute or so. We do have a few more people uh, joining the um, joining the session. Right, so um, uh, Luis, yes, the session will be recorded and um, either us um, or Tikmal will be sending you a link to the recording so you don't have to worry about staying for the entire thing. Anyway, the, my, my webinars are normally pretty short. Um, uh, we'll see how this one goes. Um, some I, tr I try and know the people's attention and day is busy, so I try to keep them less than kind of 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, but we'll see how today's uh, today's goes. Depends if the markets behave for us or not. <laughs> okay, um, I think we should get going. Um, I do have a support staff online with me from both Order Chartist and Tickmill. Uh, so if there's questions, then um, uh, please go ahead and ask them. Okay, Yvette, I presume you're going to start the recording now. Yes, good to go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's um, uh, webinar, which is an overview of the Order Chartist uh, software and services. Uh, my name is Ilan Asbel. I am uh, currently the CEO at Order Chartist. I was one of the founders of the company about 15 years ago. Um, I'm uh, absolutely delighted and honored to have this uh, opportunity to present to you. Before we get going, I need to uh, read to you a legal disclaimer uh, provided to me by Tickmill. Uh, trading financial products such as CFDs on margin carries a high degree of risk and is not suitable for all investors. Losses can exceed the initial investment. Please ensure you fully understand the risks and take appropriate care to manage your risk. Okay, so um, that's the legal uh, the legalese done. And from my side, obviously, the most important thing is that you. Uh, I want to make sure that you know that you should not be trading with money you cannot afford to lose. Okay, uh, so um, so always uh, be cautious, and you'll find that. Through the series of three webinars, I always promote a cautious trading, a small position sizes, um, uh, uh, always setting stop losses and take profits. Uh, that is my style of trading. So, just to give you a bit of background about myself, um, I have been trading in the markets for about 15 years. I used to be a full time trader on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Um, uh, I then moved into the Forex space and automated trading. Uh, I now trade both uh, stocks, uh, that's equities, uh, as well as uh, Forex. Um, obviously, not on a full time basis, but uh, I, I'm very active in the markets. Uh, everything you'll hear from me in this presentation and in the next. Uh, two presentations after this is all about my personal trading experience, my personal trading style. Um, uh, so I, I hope that you will be able to find your own personal trading style uh, uh, through the completion of this uh, of this uh, webinar series. Um, as I said before, I have some uh, staff on the line uh, um, uh, with me doing support. If you have any questions, they will be monitoring the question section and what will happen is that um, uh, they will try to uh, keep uh, a note of some um, uh, important questions that I can answer at the end of this uh, presentation. And that's enough of the introduction and let's get going. So uh, if you want to get, the first things first is if you want to get hold of the Order Charter service, you go into the Tickmill website, you click on Tools, Order Chartist, and you will see a web page that looks something like this. And um, 
if you scroll down, there's a whole bunch of features and all of that stuff, but the good stuff is right at the bottom. Okay, so the thing that I'll be working with today is this thing called the MT4 plugin. And if you want to get going with the same things that I'm going to be showing you today, you download and install the MT4 plugin. It should be a very, very simple installation process. Um, uh, um, uh, you install the uh, MT4 plugin, you click this button, it downloads a uh, a, um, a, a setup uh, file, you run that setup file, it clicks through a whole bunch of kind of next, next, next wizard questions and you should be up and running in a few minutes. <clears throat> and when you're up and running, oops, wrong screen, when you're up and running, you should see this on your screen, your MetaTrader and inside MetaTrader you'll have an expert advisor by the name of AutoChartist. Okay, and all you have to do here with uh, this AutoCharts Expert Advisor is drag and drop it onto your uh, chart that you have open. Now, don't worry. I know it's called an Expert Advisor, but AutoCharts will not trade on your behalf. Okay, it doesn't trade on your behalf, right? It's called an Expert Advisor because we use some technologies which are only available to Expert Advisors and not to Indicators. Um, but you don't have to worry, it won't trade for you. So all you do is you drag and drop it onto your chart and you click on the OK button and <clears throat> within a few seconds, if all goes according to plan, you should see an order chartist window on your screen. Like I have over here, right? You can all I presume you can all see this this little order chartist window that I have. <clears throat> So at this point, it's important for me to tell you what AutoChartist is. AutoChartist is not a signal system or trading system that you can follow blindly. AutoChartist is a market scanner that tries to provide you an indication of where the market opportunities are in the market at the moment. Okay? So what it's saying to us right now is that it believes there's an opportunity on CAD JPY 15 minutes. There's an opportunity on Euro GBP one hour. An opportunity of, of NZD USD four hour. <clears throat> an opportunity on odd Swiss franc one hour, etc. etc. In fact, AutoCharters has produced nine pages of opportunities for us uh, right now. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to filter that down because <clears throat> No human being is expected to go through nine pages of trading opportunities uh, every day. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll clear my throat. <clears throat> so, um, just a few more things before I start showing you how to filter this down. These trading opportunities are firstly filtered on the instruments you have open on your market watch window, right? So, if you want less opportunities, all you do is you remove instruments from this market watch window to get less opportunities on your order chartist. I always tell people that they should limit the number of instruments they have on the market watch window anyway because having a lot of instruments on here actually overloads your MetaTrader, overloads your computer, you'll get much better performance and communication if you reduce the amount of instruments that you have on your screen. If you only trade GBP and Euro, then only have GBP and Euro on your screen. If you trade, uh, you know, the seven majors, have the seven majors on your screen. Uh, but you don't have to have all the instruments that you don't trade. For example, if you don't trade cross rates, for example, you don't trade CAD, JPY, then why have it on your screen? Remove it off your screen and you'll take up less bandwidth there'll be less ticks coming into your, uh, into your MetaTrader. <clears throat> you might even get better execution um, or communication between your MetaTrader and, uh, and the back-end servers. Okay, so um, <clears throat> once you have uh, um, uh, uh, AutoChartist displayed on your screen, what you can do is you can actually click on these view buttons over here to change the chart that you're looking at. So for example, you have NZD USD four hour chart on here. I can click on this CAD JPY 15 minutes and AutoChartist 
changes my CAD JPY 15 minute chart. Right? So now you can see I've got CAD JPY 15 minutes. I'm showing you that because it's quite an important feature of order charters. What I'm sure some of you have found when you're trying to trade the markets or trying to keep track of the markets is that um, there is no market scanner in, built into MetaTrader. If you want to scan multiple asset classes or multiple assets um, across multiple time frames, you have to open up lots of charts. I've seen people with 5, 6, 10, 12 charts open on their screen. After a while, you can't see what is actually going on on your screens. But if you use order charters as a market scanner, again, if it fits your trading style, you can have one chart open, and then you can click on these different view buttons to go through the instruments because you have an entire view on what the market is saying uh, just based on this on this window. Okay. And now let's look at this example that we've just come up with right now. We clicked on this uh, example for Euro GBP H1. So you can see our chart is now Euro GBP H1. And what Auto Chartist is telling us that there's a falling wedge and it's broken through a resistance line. And that's exactly what's displayed here on the chart. You can see that we have a falling wedge. Um, signified by these two, this uh, blue line and this green line, and you can see that this price has been moving quite nicely between the support resistance level, and there's been a breakout through this resistance level, and we provide you this gray block, which is a expected, um, uh, the expected range of where, the expected target of where we think the price is going to go, right? I'll explain these blue lines in just a moment. So now notice how on each one of these instruments, when you click on this view button, this CAD JPY opportunity, it'll come up again in just a moment. Here it is. So you can see that this this um, the 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 price of CAD JPY on the 15 minute chart has broken through this uh, resistance level, and we think it's moving up to this gray block. Right? This is a 15 minute chart, so this is only uh, a few pips. Right? The same opportunity exists on CAD JPY 30. I can click on View, and it'll change to my CAD JPY 30 chart. And you can see that the same breakout exists on CAD JPY 30. This is, in fact, a very interesting thing if you get multiple. Uh, uh, signals in the same direction on different uh, time intervals, we found that that is a really, really um, uh, powerful um, uh, powerful uh, opportunity. But you're not limited to only looking at um, these uh, view buttons on order charters. For example, I can click to, on the daily chart, and if there's anything on daily, it will uh, show it to me. There might or might not be, ah, there is something on the daily chart. And I'll explain this at the moment. You can see that the price of CAD JPY daily is moving between these very, very significant support and resistance levels. You can see these price fluctuations very clearly. It looks like right now <coughs> the price has moved up, touched resistance, touched support, back up to resistance, and heading down towards support again. Very interesting uh, build up over there. Let me try click on a different instrument. So, for example, actually taking a market watch uh, instrument, dragging and dropping it onto my chart. Let's see if something exists on Euro USD daily. Aha, uh -huh. something does exist. <clears throat> However, it was identified uh, quite a few days ago. I'm going to move that window out the way. You can see that this opportunity actually was identified. Um, uh, let's see where that was. That was identified on uh, September 13th. It broke through a support level, uh, and we gave it a target level over here. Uh, the price kind of uh, reverted back a little bit, and now heading towards uh, this target level again. So you're not you're not limited to only looking at the opportunities that we've got listed here on order on the order charts window. You can 
change um, time intervals, change uh, instruments, whatever you want, and if something exists, some important information exists on that chart, Auto Chartist will show it to you. <clears throat> okay, so, um, so now what I want to do is, now that we've clicked on a few of these instruments, I want to show you um, the different types of opportunities that Auto Chartist identifies. So the first thing you can see that we've clicked on a few examples with what we call technical chart patterns. These are triangles, falling wedges, channels, um, etc. <clears throat> Auto Chartist identifies two different types of opportunities. <clears throat> the first is these breakout opportunities that I'm showing you right here. That in here the price is actually broken through a support level, which means that the price was moving between two psychological levels, support and resistance, and now the price has moved through below or above this um, uh, psychological levels. And so the theory of chart patterns is that when the price breaks through a support resistance level, the trend will continue in the direction of the breakout. And this is something that it certainly has been true in this situation. You can see there's been a breakout and now the price has moved uh, lower in the direction of the breakout. Okay, but um, it's not always uh, um, the situation that Autochartist um, shows you these breakouts. Um, in fact, let's look at that um, CAD JPY example I showed you earlier. We had CAD JPY 15, and then we switch to our daily chart. And you can see in this situation that the price has not yet broken through support or resistance. The price is still, in fact, trending within support resistance. So, what we have got here, oops, is um, is a price that has not yet broken through, right? It has not yet broken through the support level. <clears throat> this, in order charters, is what we call an emerging pattern. The pattern has not yet broken through. Now, this doesn't mean that this pattern is not tradable. Okay? You can trade it in a different way. <clears throat> so, when we have a breakout like this, I keep on switching between charts. I hope that's okay with everyone. This tells us trade as soon as possible and, and set a take profit where the um, w potentially where the, uh, the 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 gray area is right on our target level. Same for this uh, CAD JPY 30 minute chart. You could potentially take a position right now on the market long with a take profit at this level over here. But if you look at this daily chart, this has two different trading styles that you could use. You can either set a short position right now on the market to go short with a take profit at this level over here or what you can do is you can wait for the price to break through this level right to set a open position so what you can do is you can wait and do nothing and wait until order charters tells you that CAD JPY has broken through a uh, support level. Or what you can do is you can do something more advanced and you can set a pending order. You can do a sell stop, right? A sell stop pending order at the level of, at this price level over here, right? So a sell stop means that your broker will have the order on its back end, and if the price breaks through the support level, then you will set automatically be entered into a position, a short position uh, in the market, right? So in a way, these emerging chart patterns, they give you a, a um, almost like a preemptive strike on the market. So you don't have to be reactive, you can be proactive. So this is how Auto Charters tells you there is an emerging pattern in the market. Notice that these icons over here are green. 
right? But notice underneath them, we've got some gray icons. Gray icons are emerging patterns. Okay, so let me erase all these drawings that I've got. Let's click on some of those. So let's click on Ord Swiss Frank. You can see in this situation that Ord Swiss Frank is trading between support resistance has not yet broken through. Let's click on this uh, Swiss, um, Swiss Frank JPY example. Here's another emerging pattern. Again, you can see on the 30-minute chart, the price is fluctuating between support and resistance, and the price is bounced off the support line and now moving up towards the resistance line. Again, two styles of trading. Either you can open a position right now at the spot price, or you can wait for the price to break through and then open a position, right? Or by obviously setting um, a buy stop uh, uh, right now, so that you're in the market later. And so Auto Charter scans all the instruments you have in your market watch window and gives you all these trading opportunities. Right? So now I want to show you a few other types of instruments or a few other types of trading opportunities that Auto Charters identifies. Not only do we identify these um, uh, 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 opportunities based on support and resistance, we also have opportunities on other types of uh, um, uh, 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 technical analysis. For example, an opportunity on Euro JPY on Fibonacci patterns. There's been a ABCD Fibonacci pattern on Euro JPY. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I can't see, it's not really drawing uh, properly right now. But Order Charters believes that the next turning point on Euro uh, JPY is going to be at one of these uh, levels over here, right? You can actually see all the Fibonacci levels that we've provided for you. We can go through all of these pages of instruments and you can see that there's a whole bunch of instruments that, are, that have got uh, 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 patterns on them at the moment. Here's an interesting one that I wanted to find for you. This is a support uh, line, or oh, sorry, a resistance line identified on Ord Swiss Franc. Let's click on that and see what that looks like. Okay, so look at this green line over here. Order Charters has identified a resistance level at this green line. Let's actually zoom out a little bit on this chart. You can see that it's actually done a pretty good job of identifying this resistance level on Ord, on Ord Swiss Franc. It's got, had this turning point over here, again over here, and again over here, right? So quite an important level, and what we need to do is we need to watch Ord Swiss Franc <coughs> if the price again bounces off this level uh, in the future. But now, I don't expect you to go through all of these um, uh, uh, nine pages of instruments, right? That's just ridiculous for anyone to go through. So what I want to do is I want to show you a few hints of what I do uh, to, to narrow this down. First things first, again, this is my trading style. I do not trade short-term opportunities. I don't do this because I don't want to scalp. Firstly, I don't want to pick up one pip, two pip. I'm looking for bigger movements. I'm looking for movements over 20 pips. Right, projected movements. So the first thing I do is I remove my M15 and M30 uh, uh, time frames from my scanner. The second thing that I do, and again, your tra you need to find your trading style. I don't trade Fibonacci patterns. Okay, so I immediately remove all Fibonacci scanning from my order chart list. So this is the first two steps that you need to do if you want to trade like me, right? And immediately from nine trading opportunities, uh, from nine pages of trading opportunities, I'm down to six pages of trading opportunities. <clears throat> the next thing that I do, again, this is my trading style, is I do not trade emerging chart patterns. Before I tell you, well, before I just untick that, I want to show you why I don't trade emerging chart patterns. 
let me just uh, bring my scale up again and I'll just zoom in quickly. There we go. Now, in emerging chart patterns, the reason I don't trade them is because the support and resistance lines are moving targets. As you can see here, I'm just going to quickly draw this for you. The support level is trending down and the resistance level is also trending down. So right now, I have a problem because I say to you very earlier on, it's easy to just set a sell stop in the market. <clears throat> but where should we sell my, set my sell stop? Should we set it over here? Should we set it over here? Should we set it down here? Because this support line is a trending uh, line, we don't know where to set it, right? Our sell stop. So right now, this um, is an opportunity that I would be confused about trading. And what I would do is I would then uh, not trade these kind of things and rather wait for order charters to signal the breakout for me and then place an order at the current price when the breakout happens. So what I would do is in this situation, I would filter these out even more. I would eliminate um, the, um, the emerging chart patterns as well. And once you do that, then I only have two pages of trading opportunities available to me. <clears throat> but notice how I keep my uh, odd Swiss franc uh, uh, emerging opportunity. You can see it's a gray icon. That means there has not been, been a breakout because I can set a buy stop here because um, it's a fixed price, right? The price is a horizontal level. I know exactly what this level is. It's at um, 0, uh, 0,780. Uh, what is it? 0, uh, 0,78, right? I can see this price level. So if I want to set a buy stop or a sell limit at this level over here, I can do that because it's not a trending line. Okay. So I've spoken quite a bit uh, about the general usage of order charters and what it's about from a, from a market scanning perspective. What I quickly want to do is I want to open up the order charters web application. And the way I do that is I click on this little world icon and I copy and paste this um, URL into my chart. And I will put that into my chart over there, well, into my web, um, sorry, into my web uh, browser, and I come up with the Auto Chartist uh, web application. Okay, you can see this is the Auto Chartist web application. I have my time set to America, Chicago. You should set your time zone to whatever you, where you at, and also your language uh, to whatever language uh, you speak. But the same opportunities that you see on the MetaTrader, you will see on the um, Auto Charters web application. The reason I wanted to bring you into this uh, screen is because I wanted to show you the section called Volatility Analysis. Which is the second biggest and most important feature of Auto Charters. Okay. So, what I see over and over again in the markets is that traders set incorrect stop losses and take profits. They think that all the educators tell them, oh, set a stop loss and take profit. And so they think of some number, five pips or 10 pips, and they use that as a stop loss. And then what happens is that they, get, keep, they keep on getting knocked out of the market uh, because they set wrong step lo stop losses. In our second webinar series, which is going to be, I think it's next week's uh, uh, webinar, we'll be discussing this topic in a lot of detail about using our volatility tool to set stop losses and take profits. But what I want to show you is the basics here. When you're trading EURUSD, I'm trading mine and uh, America Chicago time, and I'm trading at 7 a.m. America, Chicago. I can expect on average a 25 pip movement on your USD within one hour of trade. 
between, in fact, between 15 and over 35 pips of movement uh, with a 67% probability. Okay? So in the first hour of the movement, if I'm training 7 a.m., I can expect a 30 pip movement on euro dollar. Can I use a 10 pip stop loss if I'm trading at 7 a.m. New York? No, because I'm going to be get I'm going to get knocked out of the market within the first few minutes of opening a position. So it is extremely important to understand the dynamics of the instruments that you're trading. You can see here of how your USD volatility fluctuates throughout the trading day. At the open of London, it trades 20 to 30 pips. At the open of New York, it trades 20 to 30 pips. In, during the Asian session, it trades very little, right? So it's important to use this information to set market appropriate stop losses and take profits, and not just simply random stop losses and take profits. And what Auto Charters does is in fact it tells you um, uh, the expected volatility ranges for the next um, uh, 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 time frames. So if I switch to my Euro USD chart one hour, I can see right now there's no trading opportunities on it. Well, sorry, no support resistance trading opportunities on it. I can tell straight away, even if I'm setting, let's say, a position on a trending moving average, right, on this on this instrument, I can see that for the next hour, I expect Euro USD to trade between this level and this level. In the next four hours, between this level and this level, and in the next 24 hours, between that level and that level, right? So I am not fooled about where the market is going to be trending, all right? Doesn't matter if I'm going long or short, it's important for me to understand the market volatility that I need to expect within the next few hours. Because just like me, I run a business. Some of you might be working for a living. You're not, you don't have your MetaTrader open the whole day. It's important to know, for example, that I'm opening a position right now. I have to take my kids to school in an hour. I don't want to be knocked out of the market while I'm not watching. So I need to know what my four hour volatility is so I don't set my stop loss or take profit outside of this range. Right? So that I know that, you know, that most likely I will still be in the market by the time I get back from taking the kids to school, right? Or picking up my wife from work or whatever it happens to be. Right? Or I'm on the subway and I can't get internet and I can't watch my position while I'm on the subway underground um, and I can't get internet. Okay, so very, very important to to monitor these um, uh, uh, um, volatility uh, lines. And so, um, I've kind of shown you everything I want to show you um, in terms of features of Auto Chartist, but I want to get you to do one more thing before I leave you. I want you to subscribe to the market report. And how you do that is you click on that little settings icon and you can say, I want to subscribe to the Forex market report before the open of the US session and I want to get it in uh, the language of choice, for example, English. And I want you to subscribe to a market report. What is a market report? Market reports are an email that you get once, twice, or three times a day, depending on which session you've chosen. And that email looks something like this. Okay, on my screen you should see um, an email now. And on this email that you'll get, you'll get some interesting information. Firstly, any important upcoming uh, uh, market events that are happening in the market that you should know about some information about your broker, the latest market moves, and these are all kind of pieces of information you'd find from any technical report. But this is the important bit. The important bit is below. It shows you a kind of medium to longer term view of what's happening in the market. Right? So it shows you that the price right now, that there's something on your USD, it's broken down through a support level, and we think it's heading down towards this target 
in the next two days. Right? Something similar on JPY. 15 minutes. This is very, very, uh, uh, um, uh, sorry, 15 hours, right? So this is, for the next 15 hours, we think JPY might, might be heading up to this blue line over here, this B line. Similar GBP, CAD. So what we've got is an entire rundown on where we think the market is going over the next 24, kind of 24 to 48 hours. It does vary. It does provide you some indication for the next, from down to about eight hours or so. But the idea is you get this email once a day, and without having to open up your MetaTrader or your order chart or anything like that, gives you a very, very quick overview of where the price is going. And again, where you subscribe to that is you open up your MetaTrader um, and you, um, you, uh, you, you launch your order chartist uh, um, uh, uh, expert advisor and click on the settings button, and you will get this, um, this um, uh, settings uh, email subscription screen. Okay. So with that being said, what I want to do is I want to um, open up my uh, webinar um, uh, uh, screen and just see if there's any important questions that have come uh, that have come through. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly have a look through some of the questions. Um, gr right, okay. So, um, is it Jan or Yan? Um, or uh, Yan, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. You said, Yan, can I explain a little bit more about the gray areas? Sure. Okay, so let me, let me bring up an example about the gray areas. Firstly, to get a gray area, I have to click on a completed chart pattern, right? So an, a, a breakout chart pattern. So something that has a colored icon, not a, gray, uh, not a gray icon. When you click on an example with a colored icon, you will actually get this gray area. This gray area is where we think the price is going to. And the way we work it out, it's not some kind of funny algorithm that we've got ourselves. What we do is we automate technical chart pattern theory. So what we do is we take the initial trend of the of the uh, pattern and we map it to the end of the pattern, to the breakout. But what we do more than that is we actually scale it a little bit. With every pattern you have this little window called pattern details. Okay, now this pattern details window gives you a bit of information about the pattern. But, and we'll discuss this in future webinars, one of the important ones is this quality indicator. This quality indicator tells you how beautiful this pattern is, right? Uh, how much noise there is. You can see there's been a little bit of noise over here, so we rated this down a little bit. Some noise over here, right? But the initial trend was very strong. The breakout was pretty strong, but what we do is when we when we map this this distance over here onto the breakout, we scale it down by the quality. You can see the quality is about five out of ten, so it's about we expect this this area this line from the breakout uh, from the sorry this distance from the breakout to the uh, to the target region to be about half the size of this. Um, of this initial trend, which it is, right? So what we do is, again, we uh, take the initial trend and we map that initial trend to the breakout. Let's take another example. Board NZD, we're going to have to move out, zoom out a little bit to get the initial trend. So here you can see the initial trend is here, right, which is approximately that distance over here, and you can see that that's been mapped to this level over here and scaled by the overall uh, 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 quality, which is about, again, about 
Okay, so that's the gray area. The gray area, really, you can see it as a take profit area, right? So somewhere in that area should be what your target area is uh, for this uh, instrument. Okay, let's see what other questions we have. Okay, so uh, Sonia, yes, you will get, uh, and Gavin, yes, you will all get um, a uh, 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 the recording of this um, of this webinar probably in the next day or two once we edit it a little bit, especially the beginning parts. Okay, um, I guess that's about forty minutes. Uh, I've answered a few questions. The next webinar is very important because today's webinar was only about just kind of a general overview of the product. Um, this product is free, by the way. I'm not trying to sell you anything. This product is free. If you have a if you have a live account with Tickmill, you get access to all the channels for free, so you don't have to pay anything. The next webinar is very very important. It's about setting a market appropriate stop losses and take profits. So please attend that webinar. It's going to be very very interesting, and that's when we start getting into real trading. In fact, I'm going to open up real live positions on the market during my presentation with stop losses and take profits. It's going to be uh, super interesting, a lot more exciting than today's um, uh, um, session was. Today was just to get an overall view. Again, um, thank you very much to everyone for your attention, uh, and I hope to see you at uh, next week's webinar.